let's begin with chapter number 10 from your economics book of grade 9 and the name of the chapter is major reforms and emerging trends in indian economy so first and foremost thing is in your syllabus we are having the lpg model what is the meaning of lpg model we have to understand that the government of india has been following major economic reforms since 1991 the three main you can say three main pillars of this economic policy are liberalization privatization and globalization in short it is often called as the lpg policy or lpg model so first is the term economic um, the term economic liberalization refers to an economic environment where different sectors of the economy are made almost free from government control and regulations that is liberalization privatization means the process of giving more emphasis on the expansion of the private sector rather than the public sector next the third point the g on the other hand the term g stands for globalization means a close interlink between the local economy with the global economy in the environment of free trade that is with least restriction and upon the foreign trade of a country now let us understand what is the meaning meaning of globalization from economic point of view globalization means the integration of nat national economies uh, economics with the economies with the international economy through trade foreign direct investment capital flow migration and spread of technology with minimum restriction this is the meaning of globalization next what is the meaning of liberalization or we can say privatization also we have to come to that point first let us come to liberalization in the LPG model, liberalization is one of the key elements that support the process of economic globalization. When the government gradually withdraws its restriction upon the functioning of different segments of the economy through a policy of decontrol and de-licensing them, then that process is considered to be the situation of economic liberalization. That means giving economic liberty, we can say, freedom. Some restrictions are getting withdrawn. Next, pri meaning of privatization. In a narrow sense, privatization implies that the introduction of the private ownership in the public sector enterpri enterprises, that is PSEs, are owned by owned and controlled by the government authority in a broader aspect or in the broader sense we say privatization privatization signifies introduction of the following measures first is to sell some portion of the ownership or shares of the government in pses to the private enterprise enterprises in such a way that management of this public sector companies shift to the private enterprises after this disinvestment second is to sell some portion of the ownership or share of the government in pses to private enterprises in such a way that management of those public sector uh, companies uh, still remain with the government authority though with less financial burden and the third is to make an outreach sell of a loss making PSE to any private corporation house or any private cooperative house these are the three points what is a favorable that means what is a positive impact of the economic reforms on Indian economy first is higher growing opportunity for Indian agriculture the new policy encourages the expansion of industries is with product which produce agricultural products these industries get their necessary inputs from agriculture that is indian agriculture several private enterprises as a who would invest in the agro-based industries so large-scale farming with greater machinery 
it would be profitable now greater export opportunities for agricultural goods in a globalized world different countries follow the norms set by wto in the crop production of those countries in fact it is observed that despite uh, you can say higher cultivation and uh, cost of many crops in those countries the export prices are artificial artificially kept at a low level through such price support means next we are having greater scope for infrastructural development in indian econo in, in indian culture agriculture benefit of intellectual property rights to indian agriculture creation of cooperative or competitive environment in the industrial sector efficient utilization of resources greater towards greater outward oriented in the indian in industries next we are having greater inflow of foreign capital and higher employment opportunities solving the problems of structural imbalance easy availability of short term and long term capital enhancement of consumer's choice greater scope of involve innovation in a competitive environment greater access to improvement knowledge and technology greater flow of foreign direct investment so these are the benefits of lpg in the indian economy thank you